What does clean technology mean to you? Clean technology to me means a clean world. It means an earth that we can pass on to our children um, in better shape than we're leaving it right now. Um, it means trying to change the way we automatically do things. Um, having to be creative and think of better ways rather than the status quo. Using energy sources that are renewable, things that we can grow, turn into an energy source without a lot of byproduct or garbage left over. You know, something more than just digging a hole and you know, sucking things up, but something we can generate and reproduce. Clean technology means um, technology which would help to create a cleaner environment and at the same time that it creates a cleaner environment and reduces carbon emissions it would also the technology put into creating that would not be using carbon emissions such as using windmill power to um, to, gener to, to generate a plant that was working on creating a better car or something like that. To me, it's any kind of technology that leaves, um, makes the smallest impact on the environment, whether it's uh, a septic system or a toilet that uses less water to flush or solar panels, cars using technology that uh, it's more efficient and requires less fuel, which puts less carbon in the atmosphere. Uh, basically any kind of technology that leaves the least impact on the environment. Clean technology means primarily leaving an earth that's, that's cleaner for our children and our grandchildren and starting to pay more attention as a community and as individuals. Think about how, long, how far we've come dealing with litter and other things. I was just telling my friend about how clean the Grand Canyon is. I think clean te technology means that um, people are starting to, to use their um, uh, use natural products more to heat their homes and to drive hybrid cars um, and more solar heat, more use of solar heating. Um, uh, and biofuels, all kinds of biofuels that are now becoming more and more available. Renewable energy, alternative fuels, clean power, earth friendly. These and other like terms are directly related to one thing, clean technology. Advancing clean technology at all levels is crucial, not only in developing the technology itself, but more urgently in fostering relationships, exchanging knowledge, and promoting understanding and acceptance between governments, universities, businesses, and the global public. This show is meant to bolster such advances regarding one of the most popular missions in human history. Building number 10. On the campus of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, is in itself a symbol of technology's past, present, and future. Hello, I'm John Wilson, and welcome to another edition of Newfangler, a show about clean technology and its expanding role in our day-to-day -day lives. Clean technology, or clean tech, has to do with technologies that support the development of clean renewable energy sources, energy-efficient systems, and improvements to our environment, helping us to achieve energy independence and enhancing the health and well-being of each and every one of us. This edition of Newfangler takes a look at the MIT Energy Initiative, 
Established in September of 2006, this is an institute-wide initiative designed to help transform the global energy system to meet the needs of the future and to help build a bridge to that future by improving today's energy systems. We believe that uh, an overarching challenge for the 21st century is addressing the critical energy and environmental challenges uh, that we will face. Uh, uh, there are many challenges. The uh, emerging economies, uh, China, India, Brazil, Indonesia, are going to uh, greatly increase uh, demand uh, for energy. The security issues that we uh, continue to see, uh, oil supply, of course, is, uh, is a major one, but, uh, but there are others, uh, uh, including vulnerability of energy delivery systems, uh, including uh, concerns about nuclear proliferation. Uh, security issues are on the minds of people uh, here in the United States and uh, in many countries in the, in the world. And, of course, environment. Uh, our use of energy today, uh, our projected increased use of energy, uh, really is going to challenge uh, our ability to uh, be good stewards of the environment for our children, our grandchildren. And most prominent among those challenges is the risk of climate change. Uh, climate change uh, has a lot to do with uh, our combustion of fossil fuels. Uh, and if we do not uh, begin changing uh, our direction very soon uh, in terms of much cleaner uh, forms of energy. Uh, I certainly don't mean uh, an absence of fossil fuels. I mean better use of fossil fuels and the introduction of new, of new technologies uh, such as uh, renewables. Uh, then uh, if we don't start soon, as I'm saying, we will have really no chance uh, to meet prudent goals <coughs> for our stewardship uh, of, of, the, uh, of the earth.